For this recipe, you will need three to four chicken breasts, one onion, one can of green enchilada sauce, one can of cream of mushroom soup, 16 ounces of sour cream, half a cup to one cup of shredded cheese, and corn tortillas. So to start out, you're going to go ahead and cook your chicken. Now you can go ahead and cook your chicken however you like. You can either cook it in your crock pot or boil it. Or you can do as I'm doing here and cook it in your instant pot for 17 minutes. Then you're going to go ahead and take your onion and just chop that up into small little dices. and then you'll want to saute your onion. Now you can saute it in oil if you'd like. I just love using water to saute my onions and you'll just saute them until they are soft and translucent. Then once your chicken is done cooking, you're going to go ahead and just shred it up with two forks. And then add your onions to your chicken. and then just go ahead and mix it up. Next, you're going to go ahead and open up your green enchilada sauce. I love this Las Palmas brand. It is my very favorite one, but make sure you get mild if you are feeding this to kiddos. And then also open up your cream of mushroom soup and your sour cream. Then add them to a saucepan and just heat them on medium heat until it starts to boil. And be sure to stir this pretty consistently so it doesn't burn on the bottom. And once it starts to boil, it is all done and ready to be taken off the heat. And then to make things easier, I just like to go ahead and divide up my chicken mixture into two halves and then you're going to start assembling the casserole. So you want to start out by putting a good layer of sauce at the bottom and then you're going to add your tortillas but you want to be sure to dip those and completely cover them in the sauce before adding them into your pan. Next you will add your chicken and onion mixture. followed by a layer of sauce. And then repeat with your tortillas, chicken, and sauce mixture. And 
once you have both of your layers assembled, I like to add one more layer of sauce and a little drizzle of cheese. And then bake it in your oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. And it will come out with such a crispy top and so beautiful golden brown. Then once you let it cool for a few minutes, it is ready to be served. And we love serving it alongside some rice, romaine lettuce, and tomatoes. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. It is such a delicious one. Our entire family loves this recipe. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you end up trying it out and what you think of it. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also follow me over on Instagram and I will see you in my next one.